special treat here. What may, many consider the single most beautiful ancient coin ever struck. Um, in the 5th century BC, in the city of Syracusa in Sicily, the art of coin dye engraving reached a standard of artistic excellence that would not be matched again in Europe until the 18th century, perhaps. This is a really special coin, and to me, to be in the presence of it is a thrill. Um, tell us a little bit about this piece and um, what makes it so special. This is a silver decadram. It depicts the, um, the nymph Arethusa, who is like a patron deity of the city of Syracuse on one side, surrounded by the dolphins that would swim in the bay of Syracuse. And on the other side, we see a quadriga chariot drawn by four horses charging to the left. Above we see Nike, who's crowning the driver of the chariot, um, symbolizing victory. And beneath we see trophy of arms. Um, what's so special about this coin is it's extremely rare, it's extremely large, it's of exceptional artistic merit, and it's in a fantastic state of preservation. Um, these, this is an example um, by, um, we know that the artist who struck, who engraved the dies that struck the coin, his name was Kaimon. Very few artists we know the names of from the ancient world. If you think of the incredible things like the Parthenon sculptures, um, other wonders uh, of ancient art, we have no idea who the people were, the names of the people who created these things. But at this state, at this period in the ancient Greek world, the art was of such a high standard that the artist was felt proud enough to put his own name on the dies that um, he'd engraved. Kaiman was a superstar engraver. He was a superstar engraver and he produced this awesome austere head of the uh, of the, um, the nymph Arethusa. You see the sensitivity of the tendrils of her hair the way it flows, you know, she could almost be in the water, the water's moving around, her hair's moving in the water. It's the sensitivity of the little necklace that she's wearing, her little earring, it's just exquisite. And the way the dolphins are curving around her, swimming around her, um, it's a masterpiece. And the way the dolphins are curving around her, swimming around her. Arethusa, one of the things that made Syracuse so successful as a city was it had a supply of fresh water in the middle of the Mediterranean world, and it was very pure, high-quality water. So by celebrating the nymph, who was the symbolic protector of that spring, they were advertising, you might say, one of the assets of their city. If you flip over to the reverse side, chariot racing was the Formula One and NASCAR and professional football of the ancient world. It was a sport that they were fanatical about. Charioteers, uh, especially charioteers that won Olympic uh, races, were celebrities. And to represent a four-horse chariot, you have to have 16 legs, and every one of those legs is doing something different. That is a very difficult artistic challenge because the horses are stacked in depth and the three-dimensionality of this image just jumps out at you. And on such a, in such a small format, although it's a large ancient coin, you've not got a lot of space to work with and you, the artist has created such a sense of movement in this coin. It's so, quite remarkable. So, Decadadram of Syracuse, circa 404 to 400 BC. Uh, one of the largest silver coins struck. That would be probably more than a month's salary for a workman. And 
a spectacular work of art in a very small compass. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Thank you.